Hey guys, in this video we're going to be learning how to create groups uh, inside HDF5 files. We mentioned before that the data saved into HDF5 files can be organized into groups and you know the groups are like subfolders if you remember the directory tree that we spoke about uh, in the beginning of this series. Um, and to create them it's quite easy. Let's go ahead to the code to import numpy as mp and import this beautiful package h5 uh, pi and then here we're creating four uh, matrices uh, 1000 by 1000 uh, matrices of random numbers matrix 1, 2, 3 and 4 let's create them let's have maybe a look at the content of, of matrix maybe 4 yep and then here we're creating a new hdf5 file called hdf5 underscore groups dot h5 on my desktop with the writing mode as hdf so the usual way we did it before and if you remember before when we created datasets we used hdf dot create dataset immediately and now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to create a group so g1 equals hdf dot create group and if I show, do uh, shift tab it tells me create and return a new subgroup okay um, and create group one create group and call it group one and then inside that group so g1 dot create data set so what this means is that this data set will be under or inside group one okay under let's call it maybe subfolder or subgroup or group 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 one so g1 dot create data set data set 1 and the data is matrix 1 we've seen this before create data set data set 4 and the data is matrix 4 okay and then here we're going to create another group so g2 equals hdf dot create group but if you notice here i'm do i'm saying group 2 slash subgroup 1 so i can create also a subgroup under one group i can do group 2 subgroup 1 and then group 2 subgroup Two, okay so g2 equals hdf dot create a group group 2 slash subgroup 1 and then we create a data set in there we call it data set 3 and the data is matrix 3 and then under the same group group 2 we create another subgroup we call it subgroup 2 and uh, we call it g3 uh, or maybe we could have said g2 uh, 1 g2 1 and then here g2 2 just to refer to subgroup 2 and subgroup one maybe it makes more sense um, and then to create data set and we call it data set two or give it a key data set two and then the value is matrix two so let's run that and then uh, it should be saved and if we check the size of this file now hdf5 groups um, then it's on my desktop and it's 31 megabytes Okay, so that's how to create groups. In the next video, we'll see how to read data back from these groups. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.